So what's the story, Ron? Diane making you sell this place? Not at all. Recently, I purchased a new cabin big enough for the whole family. I just can't justify owning four cabins. Two cabins. The new cabin I bought has a great tire swing for the girls, access to a lake for all the kids to play in. Plus, it doesn't have these razor-sharp perimeter defense planks sticking out of the ground. I usually get 5% commission, but I'll do it for three. Friends and family discount. Make it five. I don't want you getting any ideas about us being friends. Respect. Donna, baby, for the fireplace, I'm thinking fake antlers. But what kind of scars do we want to hang out the fake antlers? Oh, duh, crocheted. Most staff. That'll look legit next to those antique Visit France posters. Mm. Mm. Ron, you want to stay outside and do nothing while they make your cabin look like garbage? I'd like that very much. We can watch the shadows get longer. OK. These people won't leave. One guy even looked in the bathroom. Yeah, that means they like the place. If you just leave them alone, I think we might get some offers. This evergreen scented candle should help put people in the mood to buy. You could just open the door and let the actual smell of the pines in. Trees are sticky, and they got bugs in them. This place is so random. I don't know. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. I know. That's like the hilarious part. It's like a joke how long it takes to get here. It's like a meta cabin. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. It's meta. That's what I said. Yeah. I heard that Dave Eggers wrote a short story about this tape cassette that he found under that tree over there. Oh, my God. What are you doing? I'm trying to get these annoying dum dums to pay more money for your cabin. Carry on. Oh, my God. I heard that Nico Case and Ben Gibbard made out here once. What? No, thank you. I will let him know. That was that couple you liked at the open house. I despised them. Well, they just came back with a new offer. And check that shiz up. <laughs> Way over asking price. <sighs> Ron, who cares who they are? That's a massive bid. I will be a mogul. I bought that cabin 18 years ago for $2,200. I do not care about the money. I can't even understand what you're saying right now. That cabin served an important purpose for me, as a quiet refuge from the nonsense of modern life. I'd like the next owners to understand and share that purpose. Find me someone like that, and I'll happily sell. I'll buy it. You can't afford that house. Can you afford that house? What would you use it for? I'd go up there and take Andy and Champion and just get away from everyone else and look at spiders. And it's where I'd bury the bodies of that annoying couple after I murder them. Here's my offer. I will give you everything in my purse. Um, $8. A bunch of loose cough drops and Larry's asthma inhaler. Thank God, I've been looking for that. Larry, this is part of a real estate transaction now. You have no legal claim to it. Sorry, I had no idea. <laughs> this is the best offer I've heard yet. Uh, you trip it right now. Sold. Don't even trip. Your commission. Thanks a lot. Your share, mogul. <laughs>